I recently came around to a couple of my videos being old on the PS3 jailbreak community, and I thought in my head, what can you actually do with your videos today, Donity? Well, today I'm going to show you what you can actually do with a jailbroken PS3, and I've actually dived into a smorgasbord of uh, things that you can do with a jailbroken PS3, and uh, the opportunities are pretty wild, you know, they're pretty um, and almost endless to a point where it's actually a full-fledged Linux PSP, a PC at this point. Um, not as powerful as uh, an NVIDIA computer, that I would say in my opinion, but it's it's still got its perks. I mean, to be honest, you got, you got you can actually run, run lin like, like emulators, mods, mods cheats, um, backup game, game data, and also mod, mod save, save files, files like, like play, play PS1 games, games PS2 games, games. Uh, uh, the whole, whole, uh, whole, the whole, whole, whole world's your oyster. oyster. But, but what I'm going to show you is what you can actually do to make your fun maximize with one of these. So, for instance, if you've ever not jailbroken a console before, like I did with Sony. Um, this, this is something that you want to start off with for Sony. Sony. So, for instance, I've already jailbroken my console, and I've got what's called the package manager, which developers supposedly get when, um, you are doing, like, uh, some sort of, like, it's just something that developers get when they, they do this. So, you go in there, and then you go to install package files, and then on the USB is where standard will be located. I basically look in there, and I've installed two... Uh, uh, on my package, package files, files which, which is assuming I'm going to experiment with, with I'll get to more on the, in later in the video, but also so presumably I want to tar target these two things. Uh, the brewology uh, one, which, uh, which which supposedly I'm assuming is a homebrew package, package manager, and then, and then the SNES, SNES emulator PS3, which, which assumingly runs uh, uh, pretty, pretty much just about any a Super Nintendo emulator game. Yeah, file. file. Um, now, now, from, from what, what I know, know is that RetroArch is going to be more versatile than this, because, because if you want to go for emulation stuff, go, go with RetroArch. Retro I'm just, just giving this, this for example. For, for instance, also, also I recommend not, not doing any of this on, on like PSN because like. Um, they, they don't really care as long as you're not on their servers, and if you are on their servers, you're kind of just, oh. Well, never mind, I guess it's better to go with RetroArch anyways. So, basically, yeah, RetroArch is kind of more versatile and also more stable, and I would highly recommend that over than any other piece of malware cancer. Well not, well, not malware, malware but you know what I mean. And so, so these, these are cores that you can load, and you can also go to an online updater to like basically download cores that are. Uh, think of cores as like an emulator from another source. And uh, what you do is you load a core. Um, I think I tried this one before. And then what you want to do is after you do that, you'll try to load the content you had and installed where you're located in it. Mine is dev USB 00, which is my USB flash storage. Eventually I'll, eventually I'll figure it out. But I, I, I haven't really gotten, I'm a little too fresh with these emulation things on the PS3. But I've handled it pretty well on the, P, the, the PS, um... Well, well, no, not the PS4, PS4 the PS, the PC's uh, Android emulator and the 3DS. 3DS. I, think I think the Wii as well, but that's that's, that's a whole different video to cover. Now, now of course, there are some shady things I've had in the past with uh, um, um, the PS3 jailbreak, jailbreak which is actually this and, and this. this. Now, now, what these two, two do is that you can do, do a mo some malicious code, code to bypass the checks that Sony servers do to actually protect yourself. Now, of course, this is not really as needed because you can just change your console ID and IDPS, or well, IDPS and PSID alone, and that would make better difference than this. But I'm assuming what this does is hopefully the same thing. Otherwise, I don't know what it's for. Probably just otherwise a scam by by some bad actor. But I'm, but I'm not going to trash them because I'm assuming they did their job, job hopefully, hope, like, like in an attempt. attempt. But, but PSN, PSN patch, what it does normally is, it, 
if you're on, so let's say you're on trying to go online, right? You don't want to get banned, or at least you don't want to be banned for a while. This increases significantly how long it takes for, um, it blocks Sony from identifying whether you're on a custom firmware server or, or firmware or not. So, although this is not a full proof, um, logical reason to explain that, it is kind of working in some ways. And then we got uh, a few backed up games like Modern Warfare 2, uh, Multiman, which is a very versatile thing. You can run emulator games on it, you can run ISO files, and you can even do a lot more with it, like uh, even run a full fledged file explorer on your hard drive on the PS3. Now, now, of course, there's also mana guns, guns which mana guns and Iris Man are pretty, pretty similar. similar. Um, not, not the same, same but pretty similar. similar. Uh, uh, Iris Man just lets you play back compatible backwards, backwards compatibility games, games so like, like as if the PS3 was a backwards, backwards compatibility console. You could play like um, PS like, like PS2 games, PS1 games, PSP games if you had custom firmware, I believe. But um. um not, not really anything in case of let's, let's say if you had PSP games, games uh, on there you cannot and, and you had hand like, uh, like a slim console that or a super, super slim, slim you, wouldn't you wouldn't be able to do these kind of games, games. you'd have to do you you pretty much out of luck and um so this is a tool that I would use to actually in case someone would try and nip me but also we got uh. We also, we also got Artemis, Artemis which, which is, is a cheap menu, menu system, system where you can do some codes for, for like da cheat, cheat databases, databases from basically the games, which I, which I think is kind of cool, especially for something, something maybe like, like this, for example, example where we don't, we don't usually use cheat regardless. And then, and then, uh, then we got also, also a couple other things. Uh, uh, I also want to say that Package I3 is one of the best gaming databases that you can get from like ROMs and stuff on the PS3 because I use this a lot. Okay, I I use this um, in the back of my hand. I've used this to download DLC games. Um, not that I don't not that I condone piracy. Okay, back on back up and own your games first. Uh, but also there's custom firmware tools. Now if you're familiar with me, you'll know that I go to this quite a lot. There's a, There's a reason for that. that. It's, it's called, called Enable, Enable PS Protection, Protection and also um, Disable System Calls. calls. Now, now what this does is it it puts knives, knives in the eyes of Sony servers, servers so they, they can't can tell whether, whether your console is custom firmware or not. Um, essentially what that does and further details is, is Let's, Let's say, say if Sony was to otherwise know whether your console was custom firmware, firmware, right? It would have certain automated checks. checks. Now, because, because those checks are removed from this setting, that is the case. case. However, they can also contribute, contribute to other cases of you getting banned. banned. Like, let's, let's say if someone reported you or um, if a game ban would contribute to that. I'm not sure if it has no reports of it yet, but... Then there's, then there's also a BNC viewer, viewer which, which I've used quite frequently in my um my 3DS, 3DS with uh, of my PC. Now, now what this is is basically a uh, way to control your PC through, through like a console, console that's, that's jailbroken. jailbroken. Now of course I'm going to show you how you can install cheats and mods on uh, uh, a jailbroken PS3. So um let's say um. You want to search up uh, GT55 PS3 um, mod menu plus, and you would find so called find mod menus that are either working online only, also online, online and offline. And some of these menus they're actually pretty good. But they're all about the same procedure, and that's what I'm just trying to cover today. Okay, so once you got that done, you want to uh, go to here, and you want to actually go, uh, go ahead and right-click on it and extract it. I'm going to get the uh, USB port that was from my uh, USB uh, adapter that was off my PS3 and plug it in my PS3.
Okay. okay. So, so now that we are on the console, console of things, what I, what I want you to do is you're going to want to plug that USB drive in the rightmost USB, USB port, USB port on, on your PS3. PS3. Of course, if you happen to ever like put it in the leftmost USB port, it doesn't really do anything, so it's kind of pointless to have an extra slot unless you want to like charge a controller or something. But here's where it gets interesting. We're gonna go in the multi-man and install this mod menu into our internal hard drive, and that's how we're, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So, so um, um, realistically, yeah, yeah these, these guys have actually been working on these projects for like, uh, or this, or we did Multiman for at least 10 years, so, so it's, it's pretty cool. cool. I mean, honestly, I recommend supporting them if you can. But here's the real sauce of adventures. Pressing start and select at the same time, or, or wait, no. Pressing uh, start and select at the same time will actually, uh, uh, bring, bring you into this little, this little uh, file explorer, explorer if you will. Now, now what you want to do is you want to hit PSV root. That's, that's going to get this. And then, and then, then you want to go to dev USB 000. 000. Then, you're then you're going to go, go this will bring up your USB drive, drive and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get this. And these two files, you basically just want to like, you're going to want to basically copy these over and Basically, that's, that's kind of the case. case. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy them. I'm not going to cut it. And then what you want to go and do is go to Dev HDD zero. This is going to be your hard drive on your console. And uh, you're going to want to go to Game, not Games, just uh, the folder called Game. Um, and then you should look for your installation of GTA. I don't remember which one it was. Maybe this one. You can, you can verify, verify like what it is, is if, it's if it's correct by actually looking at the PNG, uh, uh, basically, and that should look pretty much like, like be correct as far as, far as I'm concerned. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, just rename this, rename, rename these files to so they don't, don't actually get overwritten, because, because it, if it was a case, case where I would actually, actually uh, have, have to go back to a stock version of the game, game then it'd be very frustrating to actually get that back. What's up guys, Don D605 here, and I made a bit of a little bit of an error with the modding tutorial. See, I used a mod menu that was absolutely non-functional on my console, so I had to use a different mod menu to show off a different part of the tutorial. So, a long story short, I didn't you know, show the, the steps to provide for that, but I did show how to actually use a mod menu that worked in this instance. So, I'm going to show you guys that instead. I was using earlier did not actually work at all, so... I'm going to uh, delete, delete um, these two. two. Uh, uh, actually, no. I'm going to go to my dev USB 000. 000. I'm going to basically, basically get the newer, the, the mom menu that, that I would recommend in this one. So there's, so there's two ones, ones you, uh, that you can use. use. You can use Pen Plus and then there's Eboot Bless. Bless. I'm going to use hand, uh, Bloss, even though I'm using custom firmware on this one, it doesn't matter, it should work the same way. Um, there's a Spurks file, there's a, um, eboot.bin, and then there's an update RPF. We're going to take these two files, we're going to copy them. And then go to dev hdd0. I'm not sure if this Japanese, Japanese music is copyrighted or not. I hope not. I'm going to just turn it down so I don't end up getting claims. Uh, and then you're going to go to uh, the uh, user DR. And then we're going to paste those in there. Now the safety for our spurks, we're going to put this somewhere else. So we're going to copy that, go back three. Then we're going to go to TMP. And then what we're going to do is we're going to basically paste this in there. And that is it. Uh, we can just basically run the game. Please. 
Jeez. Oh, there, oh, there we go. Welcome to safety, safety 4.2. 4. 4. 2. Created by 7. Uh, uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to hit no. no. You'll know you've done it correctly when you've actually installed, like, uh, or got this kind of, like, loading screen or something. So this is totally normal for, like, the cheat setup and the mods. And to my surprise, it was on a uh, PSX Place post, and that is also a graphical bug. That, that uh, uh, ignore the fact that there's a chain, chain with no dog. dog. That's, That's actually, actually just a grapple bug, bug that the mod tampers, tampers with sometimes. Something I want to be very clear on is that when you use these mod menus, you do have to run them on custom firmware. So doing this kind of stuff can be kind of fun, but it also, it also has, has some limitations. limitations. So, so it says R3 and, and L3. So, so this, this is actually the mod menus that we could. This is like a mod loader that we can bring out, so we can do. R1 and plus. Um. Oh my god! <laughs> this is why I like this stuff. This is just wacky physics. Well, sucks to say that we have to get past this whole tutorial BS. I think, I think there's, there's a, a mod. mod. Oh, oh, hello. hello. Why, Why am I? I'm for some weird reason Michael, Michael dead. dead. <laughs> and I'm back to. I'm going back again. Yep. yep. It's like nothing happened. Did you just kill off Trevor or Michael? Michael. I, can't I can't talk. talk. So that, my friends, is pretty much all I can really showcase to you guys for now, what you can do with a jailbroken PS3. Isn't it really fun? Oh yeah, definitely. But uh, yeah, this is me, Donna D605, and uh, yeah, like what you saw, be, be sure to uh, join me in the PS3 community. And I am out.